Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Izine Andrega, and you are much welcome back to Michi Talks. Here on this channel, I create content on lifestyle, real life matters, legal talk, and everything in between. So, if today is your first time seeing my face coming across any of my videos, do well to hit on the red button below this video that says subscribe to subscribe to my channel. And beside the red button, there is the bell icon there. Click on it, this enables you to get notifications whenever I upload new videos. So guys, today we'll be looking at when can a landlord evict a tenant from the premises. There is a misconception that a landlord can only evict a tenant from the premises where such tenants have refused to pay rent. Yes, non-payment of rent is the biggest reason for eviction. However, it is not the only one. A landlord can start eviction process when any of the following occurs. The first is where the tenant is in arrears of rent, that is after several demands have been made to him. You know, let's say for instance by serving a late rent notice and the tenant has still refused to pay up the rent. In this instance, the landlord can start eviction. The second is where the tenant is in breach of any covenant or agreement as contained in the tenancy agreement. Like I said in my previous video that covenants are circumstances. They are fundamental. And where a tenant breached any of the covenants as contained in the tenancy agreement, the landlord can start eviction process. The third is where the premises is required by the landlord for personal use or the landlord or any of his family members to personally use the premises. Now, Let's say for instance, the landlord is not living in town or is living somewhere else and now he wants to use, make use of that premises which you as a tenant have rented for his personal use or he wants his family members to not live there. The eviction process can start. That is to say, the landlord can actually issue a notice to it. Why? Because he now wants to make use of the property or his family members want to personally make use of the property. The fourth is where the premises is being used for immoral or illegal purpose. Let's say for instance, you as a tenant, that's the property or the premises in question. You now use it for kidnapping, you know, that's when you give people go stage and all that. The landlord can start eviction process when he finds out. You don't need to owe him rent, even if you've been paying your rent, in fact, you pay rent even before the due date and all those things, you don't need to owe rent. Once the landlord finds out that you're using the set premises for illegal or immoral purpose, he can start eviction process for you. The fifth is where the tenant has abandoned the premises or property. Me, it's not an abandoned project, you know what I'm talking about. The landlord can start eviction process. Once he finds out that you, the tenant, has abandoned his property. The next is where the premises is unsafe and unsound, as it constitutes a danger to human life or property. The landlord can start eviction process. The next is where the tenant constitutes by conduct and acts of intolerable reasons. Oh my goodness. As a tenant, you're always disturbing the neighborhood, disturbing the estate. Are you the only one living here or the estate belongs to you? So the landlord can start eviction process when he finds out that you as a tenant is disturbing the estate, they're disturbing the uh, neighborhood, they're disturbing everybody with your costing users here and there. He can start eviction process. So do not think that it's only when you are owing that the landlord can evict you from there. The next is where the landlord wants to carry out structural repairs. Let's say for instance the landlord now wants to innovate the building. You mean you can't be there and he's innovating the building or doing anything. things. So you will have to issue a notice to be that the eviction process can start when he wants to carry out structural repairs on the premises again. So he mustn't be owing rent, he mustn't be doing any of those. So once he wants to renovate or carry out any structural repairs at all in the building, the eviction process can start. The next is where the tenant has seriously damaged the rental property. Oh my goodness. Once you've damaged, like seriously damaged it, my dear, the eviction process can start. You don't need to go rent. Means you've damaged the property once that the landlord can evict you from the premises. Once it comes out that you have seriously damaged this property, you can evict you from that property. So the eviction process can start in this instance. The last but not the least is where the tenants have submitted the same premises to the third party contrary to what is contained in the tenancy agreement. That is breach of the covenant as contained in the tenancy agreement. So where you as a tenant you submitted the same premises, let's say you just come to see somebody just rented out to the person, the person like a man, that can change to do exchange. They say the person gives you 100 feet and then you now leave the person inside the property. Or you now leave the person, the person will not be sharing the premises with you, or you will now leave and the person stays there. That's subletting to a third party when the landlord finds out that you are subletting the third to a third party. Eviction process and start. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. See you on my next video.